Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can compare two Excel lists to spot the differences. Okay, uh, so in this worksheet, I have a list of um, customers who made sales. Uh, we have the customer as well as the sales over here. And the list over here I have is the sales for the first week of May. Okay, and, and I will get a, a, a similar list every single week okay and what I have done is I have copied the second week's list over here okay so I have the first list over here for the first week and the second list over here for the second week okay and what I want to do is to compare these two lists and what I want to be able to find out is who are the new customers in the new list which is not available in the first list so I have here a new column over here. So I want to know which of these customer are, are new ones. Okay, that that was made in the second week, and and it's not available in the first week. Okay, so in order for us to spot the difference between two lists, okay, uh, we're going to use a, a function that is available in the Microsoft Excel. It's called the match function. Okay. So let's come over here and type equals match, okay? And I like this feature a lot. So uh, we just use tab to function autocomplete. And in this formula, there are two uh, arguments and an optional argument. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Control A to bring up the function argument dialog box. So this way you can see it very clearly. We have the first argument which is called the lookup value okay so for this argument what I want to be able to do is I want to look up this value which is the customer name okay and I want to look up into the first list the lookup array this is the second argument and the lookup array will be the entire list in the first week okay so I will be trying to look for this customer name in this array okay and the third argument is an optional argument you can see that it is not bold so it is a optional argument and for this I want to type 0 because I would like to get a, an exact um, exact um, value exact match okay so when I click OK you will see that I get a number 4 here okay what does this number four mean? It doesn't mean that I have four customers. What it means is, when I use the 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 the, the match uh, function to look for this customer called Unity in this list in the first week, uh, from the same starting position, I will get the result in number four in the row number four, which is one, two, three, four. Okay so I get it on the number four so we have uh, this this customer in the first list so let's come back to this formula over here and use the uh, come over here to this uh, look array over here and I'm going to use F4 okay as you can see I added a dollar sign into the formula because I want now to move down um, the dollar sign let's do it again use S4 and you will see the dollar sign click enter and now I want to copy down the formula to the rest of the cells as you can see we have the result okay we have this customer called Amazona which can be found in row number seven one two starting is the starting row is here one two three four five six seven okay and we have this customer over here Forte we can find him or her in row number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And the, the rest is the same. And we have this uh, NA not available right here. And this is these are the ones that we are looking for. Okay. These are the customers that are new in this week's list, and they are not available in the first list. So these are the new customers. So in the second week, we got new, three new customers. Okay. 
so that is how you can quickly compare two Excel lists to spot the differences okay um, so that is it for this um, video I will see you in the next video